All right, so we're outside today. Um, we were out earlier. As you can see behind me, I'll do a little close up of everything we do have growing at the moment. But I was going to plant in that mulch patch, but I can't. So we're using makeshift containers. These are containers, but these garlic have to get planted. So I've got two different varieties. Um, one of them is just good Aussie garlic, I guess, is a variety. I do know, I got told that this garlic is from a local farm, really close to where I live, so that's really cool. And then you've got some French white garlic. So, in these containers, all they are is just gardening soil, just your standard potty mix. Oh, actually, this is for raised beds. Maybe I should have got potty mix. And I also got some organic soil improver mixed in. And then we're going to plant these garlics over these four tubs and I'll sprinkle on some blood and bone and then she's finally planted. So as you can see with these garlic cloves they are sprouting. These ones are starting to go moldy. So you, these single cloves is the good Aussie garlic cloves. Um, these ones as the bulb is the French white and these are just absolutely beautiful. Don't mind my hand. No, I just dropped it. Oh my god. Don't mind my hands. I've been Mixing the soil with no gloves on. So I dropped the whole bulb. <laughs> it should be okay. Oh no, I snapped the little... I just snapped the little things off, but they should be fine. So, I haven't counted exactly how many we have, but they definitely need to get in the soil like two weeks ago. So I haven't counted how many clothes I have, so I'm just going to space them without burying them first so with these clothes you just want to break them apart you don't want to take any peels off they're completely fine just like this and we'll just space them apart to hopefully give them enough space so please excuse my current voice of me doing this voice over i am unfortunately sick i'm definitely getting better and feeling great though but on this day it later in the afternoon we come back and we also work on our sourdough starter so the sourdough starter this is day two if you missed us our very first start of the sourdough starter on day one which was yesterday at the time of filming this um the link will be in the description box below if you wanted to catch up on starting the sourdough starter or day one of the starter um, but yeah after we get this garlic planted we go inside and do the sourdough starter which is great but this garlic I'm just so glad to finally have it in the ground and growing well in tubs in these storage containers in this instinct but I'm just glad to have them down in dirt and growing unfortunately some of these garlic seeds are going to be wasted they're just essentially decomposing already the moldy they're just no good so there are a few garlic seeds that is wasted but I only got filled up three containers so essentially I'm just gonna do four three in the middle and then four a couple of these cloves I weren't going to plant because they're very small the smaller the clove the smaller the head of garlic you're going to get see compared to this one as you can see the size difference quite big but that's okay um, and this side here is where the roots are going to grow. As you can see, this is where the garlic is shooting from. So we want this side to be up when we bury it. And I'm going to bury it like pretty far deep. So these pieces here will just be above, just under the surface. But yeah, we won't do like a full full finger but I guess I should make the holes first so now I've got a few holes I'm just gonna pop them right in I should have mentioned too, all of this is the French white. Most of this one is the French white. Just I think the last three here is the 
good Aussie garlic which does have the pinky purpley tones to it. So in total on this day we planted 33 cloves of garlic which will then turn into, if they all grow success successfully, will give us 33 heads of garlic. So that's the goal. We'll see how well we do. I always wanted to mention I got Nick to drill some drainage holes at the bottom of these tubs and they also have little feet so they're not straight on the concrete. There is a gap between the concrete and the bottom of the tub and they do have drainage holes. But we'll see how well it works growing in these storage tubs. And this is a photo photo box, I think is what it's actually called. I'm going to plant some carrot seeds in here. Might as well. We got the soil already. So how I'm gonna how I do organize this is with this one is root vegetables. I do want to get another one so I can have one just purely beetroots and one just radish and one just carrots because well they only got a few of different varieties so here we got like a beetroot a radish here's a carrot another carrot another carrot oh parsnip could have had that <laughs> another uh, radish and another beetroot and then parsnip um so what carrot you know what i'm gonna do the quickest so 16 to 20 weeks 16 to 20 weeks 15 to 18 weeks. All right, so we'll do those carrots. But I just like it, so I could take, I just asked Nick to <laughs> grab the box for me. If I said carrots, he probably wouldn't know what container they were in. Um, but if I was had the plan to do this, I would have just taken this out, and if it were to start raining, or if water got spilt on them, they're all protected. So with these carrot seeds, I'm just going to do little trenches across like this because carrot seeds are quite fine. So they're only barely getting covered by the soil because they're a fine seed. I'll just pat that in. Cool, so that was a good surprise. I didn't anticipate planting carrots today, but I'm glad we got some because I don't have any growing at the moment. Right, and the second to last step I want to do is I got some blood and bone fertilizer here. We can just sprinkle that on top of the soil because you want to give this fertilizer a good water in. We need to give everything a good water in anyway. So I'll just do it now and then I only have to water the once. All right, last step is water. I am running out of time and we need to feed our sourdough. So I think a mini garden tour will happen later on this week. All right, we're back inside. We're going to feed the starter. So as you can see, it hasn't really grown. It shouldn't have grown it's only been one day but we have had bubbles already i was not expecting that overnight to have bubbles so as you can see right there mainly we've had a little bubble action even a very slight one there but that's a pretty pretty cool bubble so to be completely honest i do not have time to get the kettle boiling to get our water nice and warm. I'm just going to use warm tap water. But what we want to do is first weigh out 50 grams of flour. So yesterday we added in 50 grams. This is our star sourdough starter mix. I don't even know if I mentioned that. But we added in 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of water. The flour I'm using is a whole wheat wholemeal flour. So because this is not feeding it, it's just starting the starter, we're not going to take any out. We're just going to add another 50 grams of both flour and water. With our water, we want about 30 degrees Celsius. No, oh, I was going to say no way that's exactly 30 degrees Celsius. It's 31 degrees. And the scales we want 
50 grams of water. There we go. And now we're just going to mix these together. So we've got 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of water in this bowl. Just going to mix this together. This is now essentially the exact same thing we done yesterday, except in a bowl, not a jar. I'm just going to wipe just with my finger the rim of the top of the jar. Put my lid back on. Though, like I said, you can see the from where I've mixed it, but you can definitely see the actual line it's at. So I'm just going to Put a line and do two so after day two that is where we're sitting and that's it for that all right so that is all for today's video although earlier when i was trying to do the garlic seed i did feel defeated i thought we weren't going to get anything planted to turns out it was nick's fabulous idea to use the totes i'm not using the totes um, I'm using the tote lids in the garden. I will show you that when I do the garden tour. I'm just running out of sunlight. I'm running out of time. Um, so yeah, that will be coming up in later this week or next week. I will get that filmed and done for you guys to share. Because it is, it is fun. And things are growing. And this is the best seed starting I've ever done. And if you are new here, I am still currently technically my first year of gardening. This is my first autumn I'm gardening. I started my gardening journey last year about halfway through winter is when I started, which is a very awkward time to start, but we got pumpkins from that. Um, and spinach and carrots and yeah, experience, failures, but experience. Anyway, so this is now day two. We'll come back tomorrow. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen tomorrow, but we'll feed this and yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, also naming this if you have any name suggestions let me know in the comments below apparently that's the proper thing to do i haven't named the sourdough starter yet so if you know let me know well if you have any suggestions let me know in comments down below and i'll see you guys next time well i'll see you guys tomorrow bye